Well, Eric, they've got a lease here on this property for a couple of more years. And so, as you mentioned, it's a big space. They don't want it to sit vacant, so they're trying out some new ideas. For 67 years, Molbax was here. Then the devastating news to the community, they had to close. But the fight to open again is not over. The company now rising up through the Green Phoenix Collaborative. So what do you think? You're just gonna have like little booths set up here, booth here, booth here, entrepreneur I, selling things, you I, know? I think that is something that we design in and with the community. CEO Julie Cohia said they're now asking for help to bring one last idea to life. In these spaces, we can see um, opportunities for, you know, creators and artists and makers. We would love to have people uh, who grow um, plants come and be able to sell them here. These digital renderings the company shared show an idea of what could happen in the now quiet rooms where plants once stood and customers once walked. We're committed to Woodenville. I mean, we are of this community and we see this as an act of um, service and collaboration. Um, so it does not move forward without people saying, yeah, this is a good idea. However, there's a cost. A big $2.5 million worth of donations are needed for building-related expenses, staff, partnerships, and launching the project. We have said it's a fixed goal, and we have a fixed amount of time. If you were to put in $10,000 right now, if on May 9th we only had $2.4 million, then we didn't reach our target and all of that money is returned to everyone who contributed. I think it's great, but I'm going to miss the nursery. The idea of getting some praise from others in the area. It would be a great community center. I think it will be good for Woodenville. So again, you heard there, by next month, if they don't get that money to meet that financial goal, the project just won't happen. But if you would like to learn more, we've got that information. Just head over to Como News. In Woodenville, Paul Rivera, Como News.